Hey everybody, GC13 here. If you haven't heard the news, production on Summer Camp Island is done. There are more episodes to come, but they'll be the last. Now, I don't expect Season 6 to be the last season of Summer Camp Island. After all, how many episodes were in the first season? 40. How many episodes did Seasons 3, 4, and 5 total up to? 40. As long as Season 6 isn't 20 episodes long, like Season 2 was, I think we have a good three more seasons to wrap the series up with. And that's a good thing, because these last three seasons have introduced a lot of plot threads that need to be tied up, and a single 13-episode season just wouldn't be enough. Not enough to do it without feeling rushed, anyway. So, let's hope we do get three seasons to end Summer Camp Island with. What story beats do we need to hit before we reach the end? I think you already know Mildred needs to be on this list. When we last saw her, she was departing for the frozen north to find her parents, and we absolutely have to find out how that went. In Season 5, we didn't just get to follow Mildred into the woods. We went to the first week of life on the island. We can go anywhere now, even the frozen north. Did she manage to save her parents? With Susie's little ghost family over in the swamp, you'd think the two parental pairings would have to meet at some point. But I can't shake the feeling that Susie's parents will be in new bodies. Call it a hunch. With or without a family meeting, let's all cross our fingers for a happy ending to that little storyline, because whether she sees her parents again or not, Susie is going to hear about Mildred's journey. From who, you ask? Well, she'll find out from Mildred herself, because the second thing that needs to happen before the series ends is that Susie needs to reconcile with Mildred. I'm still fully expecting an in-person reunion. An awkward in-person reunion, but one where the sisters can finally say the apologies they should have said so long ago. I suppose there could be a tragic ending where all Susie gets is a letter from Mildred from before the Retreat of Magic. That would mean that Mildred never made it to the island, though, and she lost her magic when it vanished from the world, then died of old age without remembering that she was a witch. But Summer Camp Island is usually so much more optimistic than that. Mildred doesn't have to be Emma, but I really hope she's hiding out on the island somewhere. I do worry, though, because if we're spacing this out over three seasons, we could get a darker finish to Season 7 so the big Season 8 finale shines all the brighter. Yes, the last storyline we need to resolve is the salvation of magic. There is so much around the storyline we don't know, so we all need to hope really hard that there are really 40 more episodes out there to build towards this finish. I was particularly intrigued by the striped horse and the bearded sheep. There have to be more people like them out there. And, if I'm right, and there really is a conspiracy against magic, we might just learn a little bit more. At the very least, you should be curious about the prophecy Susie's Coven is following. It apparently came from the aliens, the only magical creatures that get their power from the diamond who are still living quite happily far, far away from the island on rationed emotions, the source of the diamond's magic. Oh ho ho, the theories I could spin. If only we knew just a little more. Resolving the prophecy one way or another? And I do think rejecting it is the way to go here, but that's another video. Susie will finally be able to be with Ramona again. That will resolve a storyline that was introduced in Season 1, carried forward into Season 2, and explained in Season 3. So yes, the salvation of magic has to be taken care of last, because it's the entire reason there's a Summer Camp Island in the first place. Once it's done, though, and summer can finally end, I expect we'll also get to see a little bit of life for our campers off of the island, something the show has periodically teased us with glimpses of. I doubt they'd devote an entire episode to the epilogue, but it might pace better, and even if they can't squeeze it in, then a few good minutes should still be a nice send-off for the series. Of course, Mildred and the Diamond aren't the only two storylines that would benefit from being wrapped up. Take Betsy and Ghost the Boy, for instance. Until Season 5, Ghost the Boy's only mention was in the 8th episode of Season 1, an episode all about, and named after him. Since we got three more episodes dedicated to their meeting, hopefully that means at some point, these two will be able to meet again. What do you guys think? Are we likely to get 40 more episodes? Or do you fear we're just getting one more short season? Are there any more storylines you'd like to see wrapped up? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.